In Year 12 Accounting, you might need to calculate markups, cost of sales, and selling prices. So the markup of stock is basically the amount added to the cost price to determine the selling price. And for each unit of stock, it basically represents the gross profit. So for example, revenue less cost of sales equals the gross profit for one sale. So if we sold this pair of shoes for $200 and they cost our business $50, we'd say the gross profit is 150 and that's also the markup, that's the amount that was added to the cost price. So we can also represent that as cost price plus markup equals the selling price. So in this case it was a $50 cost plus a markup of 150 equals the selling price of $200. So let's go through some examples where we might need to calculate either the markup, the cost price or the selling price. So a firm sold an iPod Nano that cost $100 at 100% markup. So in this case, we don't know the selling price. So to get it, we're going to do the cost price times 1 plus the markup. So in this case, we'll take $100, which is the cost, times by 1 plus a markup of 100%, which is 1.0 as a number. So if we do 1 plus 1.0, that's 2. So we're doing $100 times 2 equals the selling price of $200. So that's quite straightforward. Um, that's a 100% markup where we basically double everything. But if we get a markup that's not quite as simple, e.g. a 50% markup, we still want to be able to use our formula. So in this case, we're selling an Xbox which cost us $100 for a 50% markup. So to calculate the selling price, again we take the cost price times it by 1 plus the markup. So in this case, the cost price was 100 times by 1 plus a markup of 50%, which is 0.5. So 1 plus 0.5 is 1.5. So in this case, we're going to end up with a selling price of $150, which is equal to $100 times 1.5. What about if we're given the selling price and the markup, but we don't know the cost of sale? E.g., Rebel Sport sells NBA jerseys for $100 at 100% markup. So we take the cost price and we do the selling price divided by 1 plus markup. So in this case, we've got a $100 a jersey that's being sold for $100. We're going to divide it by 1 plus the markup, which is 100% or 1.0. So we're going to do 100 divided by 2.0, in, in which case these jerseys cost our business $50. So again, quite straightforward for uh, something that's at a 100% markup, but the formula works no matter what the number is. So in this case, we're going to use a markup of 50% on football boots that are sold for $150. So to calculate the cost price, we use our same formula, selling price divided by 1 plus the markup. So in this case, we're going to take $150 selling price divided by 1 plus 0.5 which is 1.5. So in this case, we're doing 150 divided by 1.5. These footy boots originally cost us $100.